Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at DIG. Now DIG is a very basic um, command line tool that is already pre-installed into Kali Linux. So there is no need for us to, to go and install some repository for this tool. We can simply type in DIG tag H for help and we have the help options here. Um, now this tool this tool allows us to do some very basic um, DNS sort of enumeration, um, finding some IP addresses and, and some name servers and so on. So in future, um, with any tool, we usually use the, the, the command um, tack H if we need help with this tool or don't quite know how to use it. Um, and as you can see here, we have loads of different options that we can use and specify in the um, in the original command up the top here um, but we're going to simply begin with scanning um, scanning a, a, a domain now the domain we're going to use and we can use any is just going to be google.com so we're going to type in dig google.com now this is going to come back with some various different bits of information um, to begin obviously we have our um, our, our query our original query google.com and then uh, so this is our question if you like this is what we're asking um, what information we want so google.com and then we get our answer here of google.com and this as you can see here is the IP address so simply here what we're doing is we have queried google.com and it has come back with that IP address now there are various different tools that do that do this and, and, and get this IP address um, but it but again it's just another another option um, what we're going to look at as well and and if if we you know if we just want this IP address on its own we can use the command dig and then again google.com and then plus short now what this does is then purely just produces the IP address here as you may notice this IP address is different to the one here um, and this is because Google reuses um, various they have various different IP addresses um, and servers as you can imagine so if we were to run this tool again we would get a different IP address to the original and the one previously run now you know if we want to do a bit more dig for a bit more information and what I mean by this is looking at some uh, some records that this um, this this DNS or this sorry this domain has so for example if we want to look at the uh, mail records which are MX records what we can do is type in dig google.com and then we can just put an MX now the MX as I just mentioned stands for our mail mail records so if we run this and and here we see our um, our output so again we have our question section where we queried google.com and that was the in and we were looking at MX records and in return we have each MX record Google is showing so we have um, you know alt2 uh, uh, so on um, well, google.com um, and various different records here and if we run that again we may get some different ones um, so yes we did get some different ones here so I can imagine that they do have many different records um, as, as it is very uh, you know a very large corporation um, however you can see how the tool works now if we want to look at some NS records um, you know different uh, different NS records what we can do is similar principle we can do dig google.com and then we can put the command ns next to it now this is the name server lookup um, and and here you can see we have a name server 3 name server 2 name server 4 and and, and so on name server 1 now in the next video we're going to um, we'll, we'll focus a bit more on um, name servers as we'll be using the tool NS lookup which stands for name server lookup so these are just the the general um, the general lookups here um, however again we can query our txt records now txt um, is short for text these records are used sort of informally um, you know gen to, to 
basically make it human readable information about a domain name and keep in mind this can be uh, sometimes a security problem if information is being leaked in the txt records and this is exactly why we would do these queries because if if certain information was being leaked we would be able to pick up on that so again following the same principles we would do dig and then we would have our uh, domain name and we're choosing google.com and purely just txt now here you go you can you can see some information um, about the um, the domain, uh, the TXT records, some information that's in them, um, and again, as I mentioned, sometimes this can be a um, security issue. So as you can see here, here is a verification. Um, I don't know exactly what this links to, but this could be an issue if you were doing it on a smaller company. And I'm sure if we were to run this tool again, it wouldn't be the same. Well, I suppose we was just reshuffled around. But if we were to run this, um, our TXT um, enumeration on, for example, facebook.com, .com TXT, we would then also see some different verifications here. Now, we can also query um, SOA records. Um, and these are, you know, sort of some authority records, um, and they provide information about the, you know, the primary name server, email of the domain administrator, sort of some domain serial number, and some, uh, you know, some timer related um, sort of uh, stamps as well. So again, um, you can probably see the rep um, repetition here. So we're going to do dig google.com and we're going to type in SOA and hit enter on this. Now not much information came back from this. We only um we've only received again another name server and a DNS um well we do have uh some sort of admin here as well. Um so this didn't return too much information with Google, but we can try this out with um a different domain. So if we do dig example.com and we put OSA um SOA sorry um and run again we have a bit more information here. Uh, not too much, but about the NS lookup uh, and uh, and a, an associated domain. So that is um, that's if we query all of the records um, individually. So that's it for our dig tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.